Hello and welcome to the very first video blog from the Fellows and Composers of 2021. My name is Shivani and I'm going to be filming all of our National Youth Choir's activities throughout April, of which there are a lot. So currently we are on Training Choir Spring Course and we've had some amazing sessions so far with Lucy Joy Morris and Adam Hope. We just had a just finished a Kodai session uh, on sulfur signing and other things like that. Yesterday they had some wonderful Alexander Technique and other singing sessions. Even though we're on Zoom, we are still getting so much out of the sessions, which is excellent. And it's so great to be able to do all of the regular stuff that we would be doing in person just on Zoom. We're in a session with David Arnold, which is really cool. And he told us that he's been in Elton John's downstairs toilet. Uh, so that, that we, we sang communicatively before we could speak. Obviously, we didn't have words, we didn't have language. So days with John Madden on a, on a, a movie that recorded it, it in the UK. At this is uh, the Nemo drop off. I just what do you would say? still in complete awe of the sessions yesterday we had uh, a zoom call with thomas newman hollywood composer who wrote on films like bond and 1917 and shawshank redemption and the nemo films he was amazing he was so inspiring and we also had a lovely session with um david arnold as well who's also worked on some bond films I was just in awe of the opportunities that the, these young people get and, and us fellows and composers as well to sit in on those sessions. It's, it's amazing. So good job, NYC. Yeah. And now we've got a session with some swingle singers. Which is probably like a forest fire with some, some threat. Uh, we think will be sort of the chorus of the song. Um, there's m much more of a pop. It's something I've become much more aware of in this last year because like the world um, um, and like Britain, like the world, I've become uh, more aware of it. Um, and that's nothing but a good thing. My own personal experience is that um, I, I, I think I speak in truth to me when I say that the colour of my skin has not been an issue for me at all until possibly this last year when I've been forced to confront it because people, people... It, I don't see it because I'm inside looking out. Other people, when they see me sing, they might think, oh, look, there's a person of colour singing. And I don't know that they can deal with that, with that sight however they want to. But I don't see it myself. And therefore, it slightly, it always catches me if people um, uh, refer to me in that way. It's, it's just, my experience is just not, is, 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 is just a single person's life experience. I don't mind the violin practice that's going on next door, but we, I just had a wonderful session, an Alexander Technique one-on-one uh, -on -one session with uh, Lindsay Wagstaff. She was absolutely brilliant. Changed the, as you can see, I'm feeling very zen now, sitting beautifully. I've, I'm, I'm feeling like a brand new woman. It was so great. Thank you, Lindsay. And then to top it off, I had a lovely, lovely chat with Roddy Williams. Um, about his career and people asking wonderful questions, talking about, you know, race and diversity, which was really great. Um, and two questions that people asked that really stuck with me personally was that he said that he's a recitalist. He was told that, well, he thinks that he's a recitalist because he was a school teacher and I'm a school teacher. And that really like gave me a little bit of inspiration there to say that, you know, it's about communication and the way you communicate. And if I can teach, 
you know, a year six class music appreciation, then I can communicate to, uh, you know, whatever stage I'm on, which is really, really great. And he also was talking about his parents being his biggest supporters and encouragers. And I, I would say the same, my parents so have constantly, you know, pushed me to be the best I am, but they didn't like push me to do competitions. And he said the same, that they didn't push him to do competitions, but they were his, you know, his taxi for his cello and I'm a cellist. And it just felt like he was answering that question and related to that a lot. <laughs> And so that course has come to an end. We just ended with Shiva Feshereki uh, giving us a talk on her music and the piece that she's writing for this summer for them. Uh, but that might be a secret, so we'll see if I'm allowed to keep this in. She was incredible, talking about her process and how she's worked in, within the industry. She's a composer for Turntable um, and kind of electronics, which I have no idea about. I'm so rubbish at that kind of thing. But it was amazing to hear about her process and how she's so sensory and talking about listening so much um, and vibration and mathematics and things like that. It was really, really interesting to have a talk with her. But that was such an enjoyable few days working with, um, with National Youth Choirs on their course. Um, the sessions were incredible and so insightful. And just being on Zoom and being, still being able to take in as much as we would in person has been really, really great. Um, so thank you, NYC. Good morning. It is a lovely sunny May day and we are meeting again the fellows and composers in person which is so exciting i'm currently walking over i have a lovely view of london at the moment let me show you Describe your day in one word, go. Fantabidozy. Lizzie, describe your day in one word, go. Yay! Okay, great. Yes. Oh, sum up my day, I would say inspiring. That's one word, so we'll stop there. Inspiring. <laughs> How did it feel to conduct again after a year of not conducting? Wow! <laughs> Anything <laughs> more one, profound? Really, it was so great to work with people again face to face and yeah. them responding to you. Yeah, that was nice. Get to where he is now and were there like golden moments in your career that suddenly you thought this is this is what's going to happen to me and this is this is a seminal moment or did it just kind of unfold as it's gone along? Do you see what I mean? Is we're just going to hum a note and we're going to start it, we're going to go soft and then we're going to get louder and then we're going to go softer, so. So, so hum, start very soft and then get louder and get softer.
We have had the most crazy April working with NYC, right Derry? Derry is helping me film this. <laughs> yeah, it's been so crazy. The opportunity has been out of this world. We have done so many things, so many workshops. And I think it's time for the pub. What do you reckon, Derry? Thank you, Derry. Goodbye from me. Goodbye from Fellowship. Goodbye from the Young Composers. I'll meet you in the pub. Bye!